This is what happens when you analyze over 5,000 used oil samples to find out which synthetic motor oil actually protects your engine the longest. We're putting Mobile One, Pennzoil, Castrol, Valvoline, and Royal Purple head-to-head -head, and the results completely contradict what most of these companies want you to believe. You've probably heard the same thing I have, that oil is oil and you should just buy whatever's on sale and change it regularly. The data might actually support that, but real differences are hiding in these lab reports. Differences in wear protection, in how long the oil stays effective, and in whether your oil even meets your car's warranty requirements. If you're running an engine past 200,000 miles, this stuff matters. Blackstone Labs represents the gold standard for used oil analysis, and they published a study analyzing over 5,234 samples from Subaru's turbocharged 2.5-liter engines. Those engines are notoriously hard on oil, which makes them perfect for stress testing different brands, and the findings surprised me. When they normalized the data for oil change intervals, the difference between the best and worst performing oils came out to just over half a part per million of iron per thousand miles. Shell Rotella T6 posted the best numbers at 2.03 parts per million per thousand miles, while Royal Purple landed at the bottom with 2.58. Pennzoil Platinum came in at 2.22, Valvoline at 2.25, and Castrol at 2.28. What nobody expected was Mobile One finishing near the bottom at 2.56, barely edging out Royal Purple. Before Mobile One fans start typing angry comments, remember that we're talking about fractions of parts per million here. Blackstone Labs themselves stated that motor oils are interchangeable as long as they meet the weight and certifications for your vehicle. But here's the thing, wear metals only tell part of the story. If you want to push oil change intervals to 10,000 miles, 15,000, or even 20,000, there's a number that matters more than wear metals, and it's called TBN, or total base number. TBN measures how much acid neutralizing capability your oil retains, and the higher the starting TBN combined with better retention, the longer that oil can safely protect your engine. This is where real separation appears between brands. Amsoil Signature Series starts with a TBN of 12.5 the highest in this comparison, while Royal Purple's HMX line comes in at 12.3, and both are formulated for genuine extended drain intervals. Mobile One Extended Performance sits around 9.2, Pennzoil Ultra Platinum lands at 8.9, and both hold up well for extended use. Valvoline tells a different story. Even their extended protection formula only starts around 6 to 7 TBN, and what trips people up is the name itself. Valvoline Extended Protection isn't an extended drain interval oil at all, since the name refers to extended protection of engine components rather than longer drain intervals. At 5,000 mile changes, any of these oils will serve you fine, but if you're trying to hit 15,000 or 20,000 miles between changes, TBN becomes the deciding factor. Project Farm ran a tournament-style comparison of 16 synthetic oils that included cold flow tests, wear scar simulation, volatility testing, and third-party lab analysis. The finals came down to Amsoil Signature Series versus Pennzoil Ultra Platinum, and Pennzoil actually edged out Amsoil in the volatility test by about half a gram less oil loss. Amsoil showed a significantly smaller wear scar though, and that's what gave it the overall championship. Other matchups revealed their own surprises, with Schaefer's Supreme 9000 beating Mobile One Annual Protection and Amsoil defeating Royal Purple on wear protection. A separate 2013 independent lab study found Amsoil posting the smallest four-ball wear scar at around 0.35 mm while Mobile One Extended Performance recorded the largest wear scar in that same test. And this is where it gets complicated, because we need to pump the brakes on how much weight we give bench tests. Lakespeed Jr. spent 12 years at Joe Gibbs Racing as an STLE Certified Lubrication Specialist, and he points out that these tests use bearing steel on steel rather than replicating actual engine materials or combustion byproducts. His example puts it in perspective since Head & Shoulders Shampoo outperforms motor oils in these tests. An ExxonMobil PhD chemist reportedly put it simply, saying that the only test for an engine oil is an engine. One of these oils might not even be legal to use in your car if you want to keep your warranty intact. GM vehicles require Dexos 1 Gen 3 certification for warranty compliance, and not every oil that claims to meet requirements carries actual licensing. Mobile One is licensed, Pennzoil Platinum is licensed, Castrol Edge is licensed, and Valvoline Extended Protection is licensed. But here's where it gets interesting because Pennzoil Ultra Platinum, the same oil that performed so well in Project Farm testing, isn't licensed for Dexos 1 Gen 3. Amsoil also lacks licensing, and Royal Purple only says it meets requirements, rather than holding official certification. That distinction matters because using non-licensed oil could give GM grounds to deny a warranty claim. European cars present even bigger gaps between brands. 
Castrol Edge dominates this space after achieving a world first by getting their Zero W20 LLIV simultaneously certified for BMW LL17 FE Plus, Mercedes Benz 229.72, and VW 508 509 in a single product. Mobile One holds European approvals on select products, particularly their ESP line, but Pennzoil, Valvoline, and Royal Purple carry zero European manufacturer approvals. Not BMW, not Mercedes, not VW, none at all. <laughs> the term synthetic doesn't mean what you think it means, and the story behind that goes back to 1999. Mobile filed a complaint with the National Advertising Division, and it wasn't a lawsuit despite what most people believe, claiming Castrol falsely advertised their Syntec oil as synthetic when it came from Group 3 hydrocracked mineral oil rather than true Group 4 PAO. The NAD ruled in Castrol's favor by deciding that synthetic could be defined by performance rather than production method. The irony is that after losing that complaint, Mobil and most other major oil companies reformulated their products to include Group 3 based stocks, and the reason came down to money since Group 3 costs about half as much as true, Group 4 PAO. What's actually in these oils today tells an interesting story. Mobile One uses a PAO and Group 3 blend, Castrol Edge relies primarily on Group 3, and Valvoline uses a Group 3 and 4 mix. Amsoil Signature Series stands as the outlier with primarily Group 4 PAO plus Group 5 esters, which explains its higher price. Pennzoil does something completely different with their Pure Plus technology, manufacturing base oil from natural gas at Shell's Pearl GTL plant in Qatar, the world's largest gas-to-liquid facility. The resulting base oil comes out crystal clear because it lacks the sulfur and impurities found in crude-derived oils. Germany legally cannot call Group 3 oils synthetic, so that classification only exists in North America. Current retail prices for 5-quart jugs of 5W30 show Castrol Edge running about $24 and Pennzoil Platinum landing at a similar price point. Mobile One Advanced costs about $28, Royal Purple HMX jumps to around $56, and Amsoil Signature Series runs between $55 and $75. Price per quart represents the wrong way to think about oil cost, because what actually matters is price per thousand miles. Castrol Edge at 5,000 mile intervals runs about $4.80 per thousand miles, Pennzoil Platinum stretch to 7,500 miles drops to $3.20, and Mobile One Advanced at 10,000 miles comes to $2.80. Extended drain oils flip the math completely. Mobile One, extended performance at 20,000 miles with explicit warranty backing works out to $1.50 per thousand miles. Castrol Edge claims up to 20,000 mile capability at just $1.20 per thousand miles. And Amsoil at 25,000 miles calculates to $2.60 despite costing twice as much up front. The expensive oils become the cheap oils when you factor in extended drain capability, but you need the TBN to back it up, which is exactly why Valvoline Extended Protection can't compete in this space. Royal Purple intentionally held some products at APISL rating, rather than updating to SM or SN because newer specifications require reduced anti-wear additives to protect catalytic converters. Their HPS and XPR lines contain enhanced ZDDP for better wear protection, but they're explicitly not warranty compliant for newer vehicles. Royal Purple also officially recommends against using their oil for engine break-in, since the film strength may actually prevent proper ring seating. Ongoing discussion surrounds Mobile One reformulations around 2006, with forum testing suggesting changes to the additive package and older formulations reportedly scoring better on wear tests than newer ones. ExxonMobil has never officially confirmed any changes, so treat this as form speculation rather than verified fact. One of the most comprehensive real-world oil studies happened in 1996 when Consumer Reports tested 20 motor oils across 75 New York City taxi cabs that accumulated 4.5 million total miles. Every oil they tested performed well at doing what motor oil is supposed to do, with no significant performance difference between brands as long as oils carried API certification. Those same tests found no discernible benefit from additives like Slick 50 and STP, and this aligns with what Blackstone Labs has consistently found, that if your oil meets the correct weight and certifications, you're covered. After all this data covering used oil analysis, lab tests, certifications, and pricing, the answer depends on what you drive and how you drive it. 
Pure lab test performance goes to Amsoil Signature Series with the highest TBN, smallest wear scar, and best volatility numbers, but you're paying two to three times more while losing Dexos licensing and seeing only marginal real-world UOA advantages over mainstream brands. European car owners have a clear choice in Castrol Edge since no other brand at this price offers BMW, Mercedes, and VW approvals. American and Asian vehicle owners get the best value from Pennzoil Platinum, which delivers competitive protection at $24 for 5 quarts with proper Dexos certification, though you need to buy regular Platinum rather than Ultra Platinum if Dexos matters. Warranted extended drain intervals belong to Mobile One. Extended performance with explicit 20,000 mile warranty coverage. But here's what actually matters. The biggest factor in reaching 200,000 miles isn't which of these five oils you choose, it's that you change your oil consistently using any API certified synthetic that meets your vehicle's specifications. Blackstone's data across thousands of samples, consumer reports taxi study, and professional tribologists all point to the same conclusion, that brand loyalty matters far less than maintenance consistency. Match your oil to your car's requirements, check your certification needs, change it when you're supposed to, and stop worrying about whether you picked the wrong synthetic. After 5,000 samples and 4.5 million taxi miles, the science is clear. You're splitting hairs. Thanks for watching, and if this saved you from overthinking your next oil purchase, hit that like button. If you want me to test something else the car community argues about endlessly, let me know in the comments.